Hello and welcome to Mad Algos Racing and today we're back in AMS2 having a look at the 1.2.0.8 update. Now I will go through the blurb and the change log and read anything that's particularly relevant if my tablet will stop being a pain in the bum. Uh, right, firstly there's a few sort of uh, people been having problems with crashes to desktop, so they've got a few suggestions as to what you can do to help. And the most important thing is verify your um, game files um, in Steam. If you don't know how to do it, uh, shout and I'll uh, point it out. Um, possibly uh, you might have to delete your documents. Also, I've listed two folder and start afresh. Um, they have put some extra bits and pieces in to try and help. But um, the same, basically make sure you've got nothing running in the background you don't need. Um, also, if you've got shadows on Ultra, try to turn them down to high. And if you own a G923, or for that matter, just about any other Logitech wheel at the moment, there are some um, issues, or there were, they may still be, they may not, with the... Um, gaming software causing problems um, basically the older version was fine and they just updated it and caused all sorts of problems not only with AMS2 but with project cars as well uh, so um, what we got uh, general fixed an issue that could lead to a crash to desktop at C uh, session start in some cases Fixed an issue that could cause crash to desktop when using pit strategy selection list in multiplayer sessions. Adjusted live track grip range. Minor revisions to shadow cascading parameters from cockpit view. Increased number of hourly real weather forecast slots to allow simulated 24 hour sessions with no slot reuse. UI and HUD fixed incorrect help text on some instances of live track preset option fixed missing localization of damage rear arrow input label on the pit strategy editor fixed German localization typo on pit exit blend line tip text fixed French text displaying on German localization on telemetry HUD tip Updated various equal environment stroke technical terms in Spanish localization. Physics and AI. Further tire tread fine tuning for proto classes, GTs, stock cars, Formula Retros, Pro Car, Group A, Group C, Formula Ultimate. Mercedes AMG GT3 adjusted a default engine brake map. Formula Ultimate increased FFB max force range adjusted default diff settings. Fixed error in mini dampers and disabled a redundant fast damper range. Uh, I think actually if you've got it on one of the, there's now two options. You can dis display the actual numbers. You can just just display a number like one, two, three, four. Um, the fast dampers appear to be able to be adjusted, but they don't actually do anything if you've got it on just the number range. I believe uh, that may have already been fixed in a sort of update to the update, but. Um, just in case you're thinking, why can I adjust them? Uh, it's just that. AI adjusted aggression scalers and care with player for tin tops, reduced throttle response time for GTE and GT3, calibrated GTE, GT3, and stock cars. Adjusted AI grip for Imola and added corner specific speed boosts to Peritella, Aqua Minerali, and Ravazza. Cascades added AI corner boost to last corner. Interlagos adjusted AI lines and corridor changes at Magello and uh, Acrebancadas for improved behaviour. I am absolutely sorry if I murdered that word, but there you go. Added speed slowdowns on pit lane exit path. I should have read all this before I started trying to read that, shouldn't I? Um, Audio adjusted rumble strip sound frequency, further surface sound optimizations, surface sound filtering present only on the road noise skid sounds, grass and dirt excluded, tracks spa from the 1993 added dynamic cones, Vela Park center start trigger across track and pit exit 
uh, pit lane width. Uh, English, just not my thing. Added seasonal foliage to all Imola variants, and very nice they look too. Um, Laguna Sega fixed curbs, UV1, UV2, add more remaining, oops, trackside objects, adjusted glue on the start lights. Imla fix wall collision error. Vehicles Camaro GT4R added three new liveries. Helmet cameras reworked the helmet cam meshes and materials for the modern Formula GT Modern Club. 70s and 80s now support triple screen ultra wide, 54 to 89 degrees of fog. Fixed RPM lead ranges for McLaren 720S, F309 and F301, Metamora MRX P3. Updated Porsche GT4 Cayman and Janetta G55 tyre material. Fixing issue with tyres disappearing in certain circumstances. Right, I'm just going to pause it because I'm going to take the jump rock because I'm getting bloody hot. Back in a sec. Hit the right button. And there he was. Semi-stripped. Right, um, now I thought... Uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do to make it a little bit longer? Other than pull it. No, don't do that. Well, do it. Yeah, it's up to you. But. Um, yesterday, uh, I did uh, the last round of the RWB RST Competition Team Championships. And it was a race at Nürburgring in ACC. Um, and it peed with rain. And... I did the full two hours by myself because my teammate was unavailable. And I thought, I wonder what it's like in ACC. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, <coughs> two hours... Oh no, not two hours. I kid. Um, three laps, I think I actually do. That's going to be about six minutes. Something like that. Six, seven minutes. Uh, three lap race round uh, the Nürburgring Vidal uh, track. Grand Prix track. Um, which is the same one as they use in ACC. And I will be trying out the GT3 McLaren 720S, which is what we've been using in the championship, because my teammate decided that's what he wanted to race, and I went, yeah, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to try that. Now, obviously, <coughs> uh, I'm not going to bother with messing about and trying to sort out a wet setup or anything, so it's going to be just uh, the standard setup with wets on, And, um, <clears throat> losing my voice again. Um, all I'm going to do is adjust the fuel map and the traction control in the user interface, probably. Um, hopefully that means I don't kill myself. I did have a couple of <coughs> quick laps just to see what sort of level I set the AI at. I'm going to start in the middle of the pack. I'm going to set the AI to 110 uh, difficulty and 50 aggression and hope they don't kill me. So, I, I, like I said, I preset it. It's going to be in the dark because the race was starting at midnight, uh, race time. Yesterday, like I said, that was a two-hour race. This is going to be more like two minutes. Um, three laps in the wet, and we'll see how it goes. I think I'm just going to pause and get myself another cup of coffee because I'm absolutely dry as a bone. Back in a sec. Of course, bloody stuff still hard to drink, but whatever. Uh, right, let's press the go button and see what comes up. Well, I see it's only going to be three laps, just to see what it looks like. Um, I think I've got the um, particles set fairly low, so hopefully it shouldn't look too bad. I'm um, just trying to think. You can't actually set the rich normal, etc. in the... setup, can you? So I'm going to have to do it in the... So, it's just be a case of whatever. Oh. Cocked out right up, didn't I?
This one's not this one, I think I can really do with her. Don't, ooh, where the fuck did he come from? Do with a radar. Close the line, don't close the line. I'm trying to work out where to brake because the brake markers aren't quite the same in here as they are in ACC. A little bit stuttery. I feel like there's a car up the inside, and there was. I thought there was. Is he still there? No. Oh shit! He caught me out, he breaks so bloody early. That's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. She can't die. Ooh, cannot get the hang of at all. Oh, I don't appear to have any um, sort of markers to say where I am or where other colours are relative to me. Simi, that's the word I was looking for. that I use for the brake markers is nothing like it was in ACC so I'm breaking it completely in the wrong place there. I did get the impression they seem to be breaking early there so He's still be I can't tell. <laughs> I think we'll clear. Probably would have helped if a crew chief on and he would have been able to tell me things, but I didn't, so. It will. I'm slightly bizarre lighting, but uh... oh shit, 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 shit! Oh, and like I said, trying to work out where a break is a bit of a pain. 
<clears throat> embarrassing. I don't know why the spray. It's almost, almost looks finer in AMS than it is in ACC. It actually makes it more difficult to see where the hell you are. Probably been better off if it was daytime. I can't actually see where the hell I'm going, not just because of the spray, but also the. Um, Car headlights are not great either. You could do it a bit more, um, a bit more throw from the lights. Not going to make it. Not going to make it. Not going to make it. Am I going to make it? Ooh, only just. dodgy overcoats here but uh, <clears throat> forgivable for lack of practice and all that um how do i compare it well i have to say it's definitely different in in as much as obviously i'm using a um a dry setup and just chuck wet, wets on it and done nothing else to it where i did actually make a couple of thank you goodbye uh, a couple of other changes to the setup i was using yesterday Which wasn't the default setup I was using. I uh, setup I'd use for other other tracks and um, modified. I softened the car very slightly. Uh, what else did I change the rake a bit? And it just it was enough to make it so it was usable in uh, wet weather and actually quite nice in wet weather. So that's good. Uh, I I are a bit um they're not bad. They're a little bit you know, but for everything else it doesn't help if you can't see where the hell you are. Trying to work out where a breakdown here is difficult at the best of times, but I literally cannot see where the curbing is half the time, so I had the breaking down to there, uh, more or less to a T, I don't think I ran off once in a two hour race in the rain, which is not too bad last night. But certainly um, changing the the fuel map because earlier on I forgot to change it when I just did a couple of laps to try it out and um, it makes a hell of a difference. It was actually overheating the rear tyres a little bit after two laps, whereas uh, not the uh, fuel map, the um, traction control. I didn't actually bother changing the fuel map this time. I was going to, but I forgot where it was. I was so busy. I don't know how much difference it actually makes to the uh, power output, but enough. So, yeah, it's, um, uh, yeah, like I said, I tried a couple of laps earlier and I found that uh, the rear tires felt like they were overheating. Slightly. Um, but they felt a lot better there, so which is interesting. Like I said, the only difference was I went from 8 to 9 on the traction control. If you go to 10, which is the maximum, you basically can't get anywhere. It just kills the engine completely. So 9 is about as high as you can go, and the uh, standard is 8. So interestingly, I think they're still working on that. Uh, they are planning to change the traction control, but um, overall... I think it's um, not too bad. It's um, hmm, interesting difference in uh, lap times between me and the rest. Two seconds faster. Hmm, okay. Although I did get an assisted cornering effort, <coughs> which I'm hmm, yes, but that's what second second faster than I went last night, but probably with less fuel on board, so it's not a million miles out, it's definitely in the ballpark, fairly similar conditions, although trying to work out how wet the track is and uh, everything between sims and how green the track is, how greasy it is, whatever is quite difficult, but um, 
it's not bad. I, I think the at the start the lighting's a bit bizarre. Everything look, looks very grey, <coughs> um, which is a bit strange. But um, overall, not bad. Could do better. Will do better. I'm sure. So for now, for me, that will do. Uh, that's enough bullshit I've taken up for you all Sunday, so um, I'll catch you again soon. Enjoy your racing and goodbye.